Hi friends, I'm Chris. This is Through the Prism of Chrism. These are little four and a half minute mini video teachings to get your day started out right. We've been talking from my mini book, The Model Prayer, this week on the Lord's Prayer. And yesterday we got to that part that said, Our Father which art in heaven. Heaven. That's position with a capital P. We repositioned our lives before the throne of God. And how many of you plan on going to heaven? Well, if I was going to heaven, I'd want to get acquainted with the place before I got there. How do you do that? Well, you get into the secret place shut the door, shut the world out, and get acquainted with God. I've moved to a lot of towns in my life, and I always want to get acquainted with the businesses, the people, the atmosphere of the town before I move in there, because I might not like the place. And uh, you talk about going to heaven, but you might not like the place if you're not acquainted with it. Get into the secret place, let heaven rub off on you, and you can't wait to get there. Praise God. So, let's talk about this. Hallowed be thy name. It's from the Greek word hagiesthe, which is a verb that means to set apart or to sanctify or to make holy. Uh, let me talk about that. God's signature attribute is holiness, number one. You know, the angels never said, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful is the Lord, even though we know he's wonderful. They never cry, love, love, love is the Lord, even though 1 John 4 and 7 says, God is love. But Isaiah 6 and 3, the angels cry, holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. And that what awes them is the fact that God is separate, unique. He is holy. But here's the thing. 1 Peter 1 and 16, he said, be ye holy, even as I am holy. If we're called sons of God and we've got uh, natures that are contrary to his will, we got to come into the secret place, shut the door, shut off the TV, shut off the cell phone, and look into his face until his holiness begins to rub off on us, okay? Number two, if you will start the day holy, you have a better chance of ending the day holy. Do you know that? Romans 11 and 16 says, if the root be holy, then are the branches. If you get the root right, the shoot and the fruit will be right. And the root of the day means that you start the moment you jump out from the under the covers. Get alone with God. Listen, no Bible, no breakfast, no prayer, uh, no provision. Get started in prayer. And uh, this is the day the Lord has made. If you'll start out praying, you won't get up on the wrong side of the bed so much. And I've met people that that start the day by saying, good Lord, morning. But there's others that say, good morning, Lord. It makes a big difference on your attitude. If you'll start the day holy, you're more apt to end the day holy. Number three, if you will uh, hallow him in the secret place, then you can honor him in the workplace. I said, if you will hallow the Lord in the secret place, then when you get out of the holy place, shut the door and head to work because you do have to go to work. If you'll hallow him in the secret place, you can honor him in the workplace. You know, Christians are supposed to be witnesses. We are the salt and the light in this world and we need to honor our God. And if we'll get in his presence, then we'll carry his presence with us through the day. And then finally, we are saved and sanctified, but not petrified. I met a lot of people that are saved, sanctified, and petrified. They get into a rut and a ritual. They claim to be holy, but they're anything but. Why? Because listen, I don't smoke. Give me a zero. I don't drink alcohol. Give me a zero. I don't run around with uh, uh, those who... I don't, I don't chew or run around with those that do. Give me a couple more zeros. Now add them up. What do you end up at the end of that? A big fat zero. Listen to me, friend. I don't want to be a zero. It's not the multitude of the things that you don't do that makes you holy. It's the things that you do do that I love, that I reach out, that I minister, that I bless, that I give, that I rejoice. Listen, those are the things that you find out that are really holy. The things that make you to be loving and reaching out like God is. Well, do that. Say, hallowed be thy name. You got up this morning and took a shower, didn't you? I said, you took a shower, didn't you? Before you go to church, you take a shower, don't you? Well, how do you start the day? Get into the secret place. Say, hallowed be thy name. And the blessing of God will shower down upon you and your life will be transformed. This is Chris. You want a copy of this book? All it needs is an email address there on the comment line or in a special message. Like if you like, share this with a friend and tune back tomorrow for more on Closet Communion.